Hey you! Yes? Do you want to look like you're really good at Rocket League? Yes? Without actually having to improve at the game? That's me! Then check this out. All jokes aside though guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a mechanic that almost every high level player incorporates into their game, yet very few people seem to actually talk about, and that is flip cancelling. Now besides making it look like you're better at the game than you actually are, flip cancelling does have some practical applications. So in this guide, I'm going to go through everything you need to know about flip cancelling, starting with the basics with just how to flip cancel, but as the video goes on, I'll be working up to some more complicated techniques like speed flipping, as well as go over some in-game situations where you can utilize this mechanic. So needless to say, there will be something in here for all of you different skill level players. Okay. Without any further wait, let's hop over to free play and talk about flip canceling. Okay guys, now that we're in free play, I'm going to be working through all the different levels of flip canceling, starting with the most basic front flip cancel and then working up to the more complicated techniques like the speed flip. But to help you guys follow along with these mechanics as I do them, I'll have my controller overlaid in the top right of the screen so you can follow all my inputs as I'm explaining what I'm doing. Now as many of you know, you can dodge in any direction in Rocket League just by selecting that direction with your joystick as you execute your jump button. But what a lot of people don't realize is you can actually control your car throughout the full motion of the flip. So for example, to execute the front flip cancel, all I'm doing is I am countering that front flip motion by pulling my joystick back after I execute my flip. So if you look on the top right, a front flip cancel is simply pulling back on my joystick after I flip forward. If you wanna see that again, it's simply pulling my joystick back after I flip forward. Now this works the same way with going backwards and forwards. If you're flip canceling backwards, all you're going to be doing is pulling up after you execute that backflip. Now why might this be useful? Well, the reason flip canceling is so good is because of this sort of proning action it gives your car. Let's, let me try this again and see if I can show you. There we go. You get this sort of proning action with your car where the hood is facing forward for an extended period of time. Now the reason the sort of proning action is so good is because it can extend the range of your car and give you some advantages when it comes to pre-flipping. So let me give you an example on the ground with like the sort of most basic reason this could be good. So let's say you're in a ones match and there's the opponent coming in from the corner and you are dribbling the ball up to their net. Now normally if the ball's a little ways away from you and you tried to front flip into it, you might hit it with your wheels and that would slow down the speed that the ball is going at and it wouldn't help you score. But if somebody was coming from the side and you were a little ways away from the ball, you can flip cancel into it, which keeps the hood of your car facing forward and allows you to basically extend your reach. I like to think of it as reaching out to the ball um, and it's gonna allow you to be a little quicker and hit the ball with more power. Now for the same reason this mechanic is good on the ground with pre-flipping, it's also good on the wall. So let's say I'm trying to score on the orange net here and there's somebody in the corner on the wall that's about to contest me. If I dribble the ball up the wall and knock it off, I can flip cancel into the ball to sort of get this proning action, right? Just like I had on the ground. And it's going to extend my reach and allow me to kind of reach out and hit the ball with the roof of my car. So same thing on blue side here. Let's say I'm dribbling up the wall, I knock it off. I flip cancel into it to get my hood down at the ball, which is obviously better than when you get this sort of awkward interaction where you flip into a ball Bruh. and your wheels hit it and then you spin out and the ball slows down and it's just not pretty. So yeah, flip canceling forwards is really good because it can extend the reach of your car. Now one of the most advanced front flip canceling techniques that I use is going to be flip canceling off the ceiling. So just like you flip cancelled off the ground and off the wall, flip cancelling can be good off the ceiling, and that's because it gives you this sort of scooping action on your car. So let's say I'm driving up the wall here and I'm going for a ceiling shot, I can flip cancel to get under the ball and sort of scoop it up. Now this is definitely less common than just the standard flip cancel into the ball and the uh, wall flip cancel, but it's still definitely a useful mechanic that you can use um, in your games. Now the second type of flip canceling is a very common flip cancel, and that is the half flip. So instead of flip canceling forwards or backwards, 
The half flip is just using that same mechanic, but going in a diagonal direction. So if you look at my controller in the top right, what I'm going to be doing while half flipping is instead of flipping back and pulling back up forward completely, I'm going to backflip diagonal and pull up in a diagonal direction. And what that allows me to do is it flips my car. It cancels the rotation of the diagonal flip, but then it also rolls my car over. Now I won't go too much into this sort of flip cancel. You can do it forwards and backwards. But I won't talk about it too much because this flip cancel is pretty obvious why you would do it, right? Because it switches your direction. But what people don't realize is that the speed flip, which is the fastest flip in the game, is actually just a variation of that same half flip motion. So in a half flip, you're flip canceling for the full duration of the flip. So I'm going backwards diagonally and then I'm holding up that whole time. But in a speed flip, you're going to be doing the same thing except you only pull your joystick back for the flip cancel for a very brief amount of time. So let's say I'm driving forward. Normally I can do a half flip in the same way that I do it backwards by just holding down my joystick to flip my direction around. But if I just flick my joystick down after performing a diagonal flip, I'll get this sort of hitching action, which I'll show you here. And that's how the speed flip works. Rather than doing a full diagonal flip, Flip canceling in the diagonal direction gives you the sort of hitch which grounds your car again quicker and is the fastest way to get around the map or get to kickoffs. Now all these different types of flip canceling have their own applications. You have your front flip cancel to pre-flip, you have your half flip cancel to go backwards or switch directions, and then you have the speed flip which is sort of a in-between flip cancel that allows you to get around the map quicker. But hopefully after watching all of this, you now understand a little bit more about each type of flip cancel and you have better control of your car. Because really at the end of the day, all these different types of flip canceling maneuvers are just different ways to control your car and they can all be applied to your games in different scenarios. Okay guys, that is going to wrap things up for this video on flip canceling. Hopefully there was something in this one for all of you to take away, but what I really want going forward is for you to start testing these things out in your own games, whether it's with front flip canceling, half flipping, or speed flipping, because I think as you do this stuff more, you'll realize just how useful the mechanics can be, and you'll start to see all the different situations where you can take advantage of them. If nothing else though, you'll at least look cooler in your games. As always though guys, if this video was helpful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribed if you haven't already. If you have any questions or want to work with me personally through my private coaching, then I'll have my Discord linked in the description below. But otherwise, that's all I've got for this video. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!